cap, the Canadian Association of Petroleum Producers made the request in a leaked 13-page letter obtained by Global News. Global's chief political correspondent, David Aiken, joins us now with the details around this one. Good morning to you, David. I guess let's talk about what Canada's oil producers are looking for from Ottawa. Right. Well, we know that Canada's oil producers, like many industries, well, actually more than many industries, has taken a big whack uh, because of COVID and also because of the oil price war between Saudi Arabia and Russia. And in fact, CAP cites this in this letter dated March 27th that was sent to Natural Resources Minister Seamus O'Regan, CC'd to a bunch of other ministers. And they are looking to suspend what they call some low risk regulatory items, things like uh, monitoring pollution levels, some inspections that they're required to do, reporting that they are required to do under a variety of, of different acts, everything from the Fisheries Act to the Canadian Environmental Protection Act. But they also want to suspend things. Uh, they're also pressing Transport Canada to say, you know, slow down on the pressure to accelerate the replacement or retrofit of rail cars used to carry oil. And of course, that is a safety issue. Um, so the variety of asks, 30 of them, is what uh, CAP has made to the federal government. Federal government right now, just all they're saying is we oil and gas sector is very important to us. Um, they're really not committing one way or the other to uh, any of these. Uh, environmental groups, on their hand, um, are looking at this and saying, wait a minute, the oil industry has really not proved that some of these things are COVID related. They're basically asking for things they've been asking forever to get out from under a variety of regulatory oversight uh, issues that they've never liked. And they're trying to use COVID-19 as an excuse uh, not to do some things that they've long complained about. With this letter coming out, do you expect any uh, fallout from this on either side, any side? I think there's going to be a lot more discussion about this. Again, there's lots of industries that have been asking, particularly when it comes to reporting requirements for the government. I mean, just small business owners uh, on themselves. Can we pause maybe some reporting requirements for tax reasons? So there's been a lot of industries asking to pause some reporting. And I say pause, not forget about, pause, put off for another side. So we'll see where the, the federal government goes. Uh, there seems to be some things in there. That, again, CAP calls them low risk uh, sort of regulatory requirements to the extent the government agrees that they are low risk or something that can be put off for several months. Perhaps there'll be some uh, relief there. But Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has been asked, for example, about pausing the recent April 1st carbon tax increase. And he has said not going to do that, going to continue with uh, the federal government's plans to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And of course, that is something that uh, certainly people in Alberta, the Premier for one thing, Premier in Saskatchewan as well, Scott Moe, have said is a, it's the wrong time to be focusing on fighting climate change. Uh, Prime Minister Trudeau disagrees on that particular point. I know the Prime Minister met with the country's premiers uh, last night. How did that go? Anything come out of there? Lots to talk about, I imagine. Not really any big... There was lots to talk about, but not really any big headline. One thing the premiers did say is that they are a little bit concerned that the federal government is announcing programs or, or initiatives that will require provincial help and really the provinces aren't being sort of kept in the loop. So they want to improve lines of communication there. And one of the big things that was announced yesterday that will require provincial help is a new program for small business to help give them some commercial rent relief. A prime minister yesterday announcing that this program, the feds would, would pay for it essentially, and it would mean that uh, businesses could get some rent relief for May, uh, pardon me, April, May, and June. But because the rent relationship between landlord and tenant is governed by the provinces, it is going to require some provincial help. So there was some discussion about that. We'll wait to see details rolling out on that one. And the other big issue that the premiers all discussed, uh, not such a big issue in Alberta, but definitely a big issue in Ontario and Quebec, is uh, how to better protect seniors in long-term care facilities. The Ontario Premier Doug Ford said it is a wildfire right now. That's his phrase. Uh, in Ontario's long-term care homes, that's where most of the new infections are happening in Quebec. Quebec has actually formally asked the federal government for help. We could see military nurses and doctors helping out in retirement facilities in Quebec. Uh, still some details to be worked about how that would work. Um, but those are the two big things that the uh, the premiers and the prime minister talked about last night. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, and quickly, as we wrap up here, I know there's been a lot of talk about our border with the U.S. as well and where, where we stand on that. That's right. So President Trump earlier this week uh, sort of musing that uh, the Canada-U.S. border would be, quote, one of the first where restrictions could be eased. 
uh, Canada right now very cool to this idea. Prime Minister Trudeau said, quote, a significant amount of time, again, his phrase, before Canada-U.S. border restrictions would be eased. And Ontario's Premier, Doug Ford, he's even more blunt. He said flat out, I don't want him here. I don't want any Americans coming in. Ontario's got enough of its own problems. And of course, we just tightened the border this week. Anybody coming across the border, any Canadian coming in, has to have a written plan now for how you're going to quarantine for 14 days. And if you don't have that plan, you'll be put up in a hotel for 14 days at the federal government's expense. David Aiken in Ottawa today. Thanks for the update.